Jacksonville's mayor. Lenny Curry is with us now on the phone. Mayor Curry, good morning. Good morning. We heard in the piece from Dylan that about 100 people had to be rescued. Is there a backlog of calls? Do you still have people calling in saying they're stranded that you haven't been able to get to yet? No, we, uh, our rescue efforts, uh, we jumped into that mode yesterday and uh, 15 neighborhoods. And right now, uh, the call volume has stopped and uh, people are safe and secure. And Mr. Mayor, what, what is the uh, flooding condition there? I mean, are these waters finally starting to recede or are you worried about a worsening situation? It, they likely won't recede for days, if not a week. Uh, it will recede slowly. What happened was we had evacuated a number of zones because we knew that this was going to be a major storm, major impact. Uh, and then yesterday morning, the information that came to us, we were getting Category 3 hurricane surge in a tropical storm. And uh, unfortunately, some people did not leave those areas, at-risk areas. We were able to mobilize rescue crews, secure assets through Governor Scott, uh, we had the president, uh, Senator Rubio, and his team on the front end uh, offering help and will be helping us in the, in the recovery mode. But what's most important is yesterday was a rescue day, and first responders and the people of Jacksonville did their jobs. Yeah, and you've got to go then from rescuing to recovering. I, I think you're also an accountant. Um, so have you done some preliminary math, Mr. Mayor? Have you tried to figure out what this might cost the city of Jacksonville? We don't have cost estimates, but I can tell you this. We, uh, we have very financially stable and secure uh, budget budgets. Uh, we are on firm financial ground. We have reserves. Uh, we went through Matthew, and we are able to, uh, uh, to fund the needs that we have to begin rebuilding and recovering as we work with the federal government, Senator Rubio, the president, and the, the state, the governor of the state of Florida, to get our FEMA and state reimbursements, we can uh, we can get to work now. We're in, we're in good order. As you are walking, or in some cases, perhaps using a boat to get through your city, can you characterize the scope and the severity of this, of the damage here? Yeah. So when I when I got the information yesterday morning and we pivoted immediately to rescue, I got into the neighborhoods that were at risk, and you see these big public safety huge vehicles with huge tires that can't even get into some of these roads, and then they drop the, you know, the boat in, and they go in, and to see families coming out, kids coming out in these boats, uh, with the public safety men and women bringing them in, uh, loading them onto vehicles to get them to either shelters or other, uh, you know, other secure places, just a, a, a moving moment, humanitarian, just unbelievable the way the people of Jacksonville, first responders and neighbors, mm stepped up yesterday to save everybody's lives. And the work continues. Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry, thanks for spending a few minutes with this, mor uh, at this morning, sir. We appreciate it. Thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.